So sometimes I'll get asked the question, how are you so calm or you seem so peaceful? And now obviously one could go quite deep when answering that question because there are many layers to it. But I have no doubt that part of that is because I always make a conscious effort to keep my life organized and structured, which then gives me clarity of mind. Or at least I thought I was being very organized with my note taking and to-do lists and schedules and all of that. And I thought that I was optimizing my workflow until about a year ago when I downloaded the app Notion. Now, I'll be honest, in the beginning, I was very overwhelmed by it. So it took me quite some time to actually start using it, there's just so much that you can do in Notion and I'm someone who likes to keep things pretty simple, but once I gave it a chance and realized that I could keep it as advanced or basic as I wanted to because everyone likes to get organized differently, it completely changed my workflow and just the way that I do things on a daily basis. The way that I like to imagine it is that I went from having like 20 something tabs open in my mind at all times, which was things like the note taking app on my phone or random word documents or, and this is quite ridiculous, I would have the bad habit of like texting random ideas and thoughts to my friend just to like have it written down somewhere and then I would write ignore and they would know that oh it's just Lana taking random notes now obviously I ended up losing most of those notes and anyway so now I only have one main tab open in my mind and that is Notion. So I was really excited when Notion reached out to me asking if I wanted to make a video with them to show how I use the app and considering how helpful it's been for me, it was a no brainer. So this video is very kindly sponsored by Notion. Now, if you don't know, Notion is an all in one workspace that is highly customizable. I mean, really it's sort of mind blowing how much you can do with it, which we will get into. And what's also great is that it is completely free for personal use. So if you want to try it out yourself, I will leave a link for you in my description box and you can just use that to sign up. Now, this will probably be the most intimate video that I've ever made. There's just something about letting all of you into this kind of sacred space of mine, which isn't something that I usually do, but I'm really excited for it. So let's get into it. All right, so this is the first thing that I see when opening up Notion in the morning, either on my computer or on the app on my phone. And I used to have no emojis, no photo. I wanted to keep it very clean, but the more I play around with it, the more excited I get to just kind of go all in because it's really fun. So I added a photo of Stockholm with a boat because I really like boats. Now this is the target list. The target list is what most people would call a to-do list. I just call it target list. I've been doing it for a long time because I just think it sounds cooler, way more fun, and it just makes me feel kind of wild and excited to do things. And we have targets, doing, and done. And these are the things that I need to get done soon, and then things that I'm currently doing, and then things that are done. Obviously the done section is completely unnecessary. It's just for me to feel accomplished, like I've actually been doing something. So the way that I add targets here is really simple. So let's say edit Notion video. And then once I'm editing it, I will put it in doing and then in done. And then frequently I will just delete these off to keep it clean. Moving on to the YouTube section. Now, this is a page that I am planning on really developing this year. I know that there is plenty of space for me to optimize my workflow and there are some things that I want to try to see if they work for me. But for now, this is how I do things. So starting with ideas, I probably have at least 20 more ideas, but those are all in the random section. The only ideas that make it to this page here are ideas that I have actually given quite some thought and that I am somewhat sure will be turned into a video. Again, just to keep this section as clean as possible. So we have just thought of, which isn't exactly true. I've been thinking about it for a little bit, We're working on and then posted. And then if we go to collaborations, 
really important to keep track of who you're working with and who you're mailing with. So we have the mailing signed, which means there's no going back and then posted and then paid. And these are also things that I will get rid of as soon as this starts to fill up a little bit to keep it clean. And then we have scripts, which speaks for itself. It's the scripts for my videos, super easy to add on new ones. So I just click there and then let's say, um, how to talk to dogs. And then I will just write my script here. Super easy. Now I don't need that for now. So I'll just delete that. And I also like this section, which lets me know how many scripts I am actively working on. So in this case, we have three and then what is done. Now let's move on to, to consume. Now this is probably my favorite section. This is where I put anything that has to do with reading or listening or watching. Well, that's the plan right now. It's only been reading. And the reason I'm so excited for it is that A, I think it looks really cool, which I will show you in just a bit. And B, because I promised myself to be more intentional with my media consumption. You know, I don't want to just mindlessly read books or listen to podcasts. I want to be intentional with it so that I can retain the information and actually get some good use out of it. Plus, I got a Kindle recently, so reading has never felt easier. All right, starting with the reading list, and I must say I am pretty proud of this one. I just think it looks super pleasing and also super helpful. So this is where I keep all the information that I want to have before picking up a book. So we have the type, the name, the author, the year, which I always think is very interesting. I want to know if a book is from last year or from 100 years ago. It just puts me in that mindset. Genre, planning on being a bit more specific. Right now we only have fiction or nonfiction. Pages, again, I think is necessary because sometimes I want to pick up a book that is super long and just spend hours and hours diving into it. And sometimes I want to have more of a quick read. And then we have the status to be read or if I have finished it or if I'm currently reading it. And then we have a link just to get a quick overview of the book before picking it up because sometimes I might not remember what a specific book was about. So I have just links to Goodreads and then found. And I really love this section because anytime I pick up a book or anytime I look at my to be read list, I want to know why that book is on my list. Was it someone who recommended it to me? Did I find it in an article or while doing some research? I just think it's pretty helpful knowing what mindset I was in when adding that book to my to read. And what's also really great here is that you can use filters. For example, if you want to know if you are particularly interesting in a specific author, let's say, so you can click author and you can select Brene Brown. And I only have one book from her on my to read, but you might notice that there is a pattern. You might be into a specific author or something like that, which I think is really cool. You know, I really wish that I had Notion when I was in school. It would have been such a game changer or even when I had roommates because you can share your pages and your workspace with other people, which is really cool. So if you want to have a page that you are sharing with your roommate about your chores or rent or whatever it might be, it's just really helpful. So I didn't have it then, but I have it now. So I guess better late than never. All right, let's move on to book notes. Again, this is part of me wanting to become more intentional with anything that I consume. And I think that taking notes is a great way of doing that. So just starting out with that, and I haven't really refined this yet, but this is sort of what I have in mind. Like key takeaways, how can I apply this to my life and so on. I'm going to figure out a system for that, but I don't have it yet. Readwise, not going to get into what Readwise is, but essentially it's where I send 
all of the highlights that I make when reading anything. And what I've started doing now is that I'm exporting those highlights to Notion so that I have it all in one place. And then we have quotes, which is just random quotes that I like to look back on to keep and I'm constantly adding to this list. All right, and then we have health. So to me, this section is extremely important. I'm not going to get into too much detail, but there are two things that I would like to recommend to you. The first one is mental health overview. Now, just evaluating the last four weeks at the end of the month, I think is very helpful in noticing patterns in your well-being and also to see what you remember most strongly when looking back can be quite telling. Now, obviously you can also fill this in throughout the month, not just at the end of the month. As you can see, it's something that I've just recently started doing and I'm really enjoying it. Now, the next thing I would like to recommend here is things that I've noticed. I just love this so much. I don't know if it's this emoji that makes me extra happy being here, but I just like taking note of things that are changing in my body or the way that I am feeling, perhaps I have a pain somewhere or ache or even things like my skin and just taking note of those bodily changes. I think A, it's good to be aware of how things are changing, but also being able to look back later and know when you got your first fine line or when your hairline started to decrease or your first wrinkles, I think can be really fun. So taking note of how your body feels right now. So here for January, I'm pretty sure this is in Swedish. Yeah, okay, so yeah, these are just, I'm not gonna get into it, Not it's not very interesting, but some of the things that I noticed with my body in uh, January, so this month. I guess I could also show you very quickly recipes. Now, I've never been a person to follow recipes, I always just freestyle, but I do want to explore more when it comes to food, so I am starting to follow more recipes just to broaden my knowledge with food because I'm a huge foodie, so currently working on this recipes list. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. I have the type of dish, so if it's a side or if it's a main, where I found the dish, and then I'm planning on rating it because if I give it like a two star, I'm probably not gonna want to cook it again. If I give it a four star or a five star, I am likely to want to make it again. So I just really love that you are able to build these kind of systems in Notion. I just think it's super helpful and there are so many different things that you can use these kinds of systems for, which is really awesome. Now let's move on to projects. Not going to get into any of these, just wanted to show you that. And personal finance. So this page is completely new. I've been searching for the perfect place to track my finances. If you didn't know, I think finance is super interesting and it's also very useful and necessary, but I'm going to try it here in Notion and I will keep you posted on how I enjoy it. Now let's go to meeting notes. So unfortunately in the past, I've been a person who hasn't really organized my meeting notes. Whenever I would get a call or make a call, I would just open up like a random document on my computer and then write. And then I would just lose that document, have no idea what we were talking about, which just isn't optimal. So yeah, now I do what I should have been doing a long time ago. Before every meeting, I create a page and also I wanna show you this. So the slash here is how you will be using Notion a lot. Like this is where you get the text or a page or a to-do list or a heading. I mean, there are endless things. You can get a calendar. So yeah, this right here will be your very best friend. So if I were to want to add, um, let's say a new page, I can just go with call with, um, I don't know, a grocery store, which I don't know why I would have a call with a grocery store, but yeah, let's say that's the case. And I can choose to have it with an icon or empty or um, import a template. 
So for the sake of consistency, let's say I would want to add a emoji here. And yeah, I guess a carrot is relevant since it's a call with a grocery store. And then voila. And then whenever I make the call, I just go in here and I start writing. Like let's say for some reason I would want to add a to-do list. So I just do that. And then I go to to-do list and I like write down all the calls I need to make. So let's make up some names like Anna, um, uh, Britt, Kalle, Jonathan. I don't know, just a few names. Like let's say I would have meetings with these people and then once that meeting is done, I can just check it off, check it off, check it off. Super satisfying. Yeah, great. All right, now let's move on to leisure. Now this section would have probably been more fun in let's say 2019 when things were open and normal but yeah like the restaurant section i thought moving into the city i was going to try all these restaurants and things were going to get back to what they were but yeah that hasn't happened which is fine i have my recipes now so i don't need you and then i really like this one to buy again i will be putting some of these templates in my description box so if you want to use this for yourself when using notion you can just duplicate my templates and personalize it for yourself so to buy i think this is just i don't know it just looks really clean and beautiful so i have to buy and then i have bought and i add the name of the thing that i want to buy the price of it and then a link to where i am planning on purchasing it and I do also delete this after a while just to keep it clean. But, you know, it's nice seeing a few things there. It makes you feel like you, I don't know, got some new things and it's just exciting. So if I were to add, um, I need to add a leash, which I don't know why I would need a leash. I don't have a dog, but let's say I, I would want to buy that. What I can do is I just go here and I can... Um, add some notes so buy the blue one from the grocery store um it's that much money and then i will have it right here and then once i've bought it i will just drag it over which is just super satisfying and then just some random things that I want to learn, which I don't know, we'll see how that goes. This one is very high up on my list. I think that would be just really cool, just sitting alone at home with my ukulele, so yeah. And then we have Instagram, which is currently empty now. The reason I have it there is because I do want to get better at Instagram because our Instagram community is absolutely amazing. You guys are just so engaged and I just want to make the most out of that and find ways to to spread more goodness and to connect over there. So I'm still finding ways to do that. If you don't follow me there yet, go ahead and follow me if you want to. I will put the handle up here somewhere. And then we have random, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's the only section that I allow to become messy. You know, whenever I think of something, I don't like try to find the right place to put that note. I just put it in random until I either get rid of it or refine it somehow. And then I put it in the right section afterwards. I just find that to be more efficient. And I guess that was all for my Notion tour. By the way, I've had my phone over here to look at some notes so I don't really forget anything. Now, two things that I don't use Notion for is journaling and my calendar. I figure I would say that in case you guys were wondering about that. And yeah, I hope this wasn't too overwhelming. If it was, do still give it a chance. I'm so happy that I did. You can literally use it any way that you want. Or if you're an avid Notion user, this might be very underwhelming. Point is that we each find a way that works for us and I'm still constantly learning and playing around with it. I really enjoy it. I think it's so much fun. And yeah, again, if you want to try out Notion yourself, do use a link in my description box and I will be putting some of the templates that I'm using down there as well so that you can use them for yourself. If there was a specific template that you would like me to share, please let me know in the comment section. And
and that was all thanks again so much to notion for sponsoring us today and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the comment section